We're still working our way to bioluminescence, so today we'll be getting our ISO 9mm done and our mini back SMG to get more progress towards Zircon skill for this class. And while we grind the camos out for these weapons, I wanted to talk about a little bit of uh, concerning news to come out about Modern Warfare Zombies. But uh, before we get into it, I just want to apologize ahead of time for my voice. Uh, you can probably tell I'm still a bit sick. I felt pretty good the other day, the last time I recorded the video, but uh, it's come back for round two and it's kind of been beating my ass so again I'm, I'm sorry for my voice but the news that i've seen about Modern warfare zombies is that it looks like treyarch has kind of moved on and has little to no involvement in Modern warfare zombies at this point and now they're focusing on next year's game and this comes from hey i'm alex on twitter he's one of the more trusted leakers when it comes to call of duty and he seems to kind of have his uh, finger on the pulse for a lot of things and honestly this is kind of like good and bad news because uh with cold war i, I know a lot of people you know there's a people are very torn on cold war a lot of people love it a lot of people hate it but uh one thing i think we can all agree on is when cold war came out there wasn't a whole lot of uh zombies content off rip like as the game's life cycle went on we got more and more content but only having one round based map at launch is not really the best look so it's nice that treyarch is trying to get ahead of it like they probably already got a decent amount of work done on next year's title and now they're getting a little bit more and focusing all their work from you know this year's cycle on that but also it's a, it's a bit disappointing because i do really like this mode a lot and we already didn't get a whole lot of new content here with season one reloaded we got one new warlord that rotates out with the the previous warlord now so you have like a 50 percent chance of even doing any of the new content hopping into a game past the the first week of the update but at the same time i was kind of going into this game not really expecting a whole lot for this mode you know, kind of having it as a filler mode to hold over some of us zombie fans, give us something new, have them experiment with a new type of mode while we wait for next year where we're going to get full round base. We're going to get like a, the full kind of classic zombies experience. And this is kind of like a, a placeholder, a little appetizer for the mode. Whoa, look at this mangler. He's holding up the entire x helicopter. Bro, strong. But I think now that Treyarch has moved on to next year's game, it's Infinity Ward and Raven that have kind of taken over their slack on the mode. And Infinity Ward already did not want a Modern Warfare Zombies to begin with. I think they shot the idea down back in 2019. So I don't know how much content they're going to be focusing on it. But Raven, I, I do like Raven a lot. They've done a really good job when it comes to Warzone, despite like how the mode has gone in the last few years i feel like they really do care about the mode like raven and sledgehammer are, are two of the best branches of call of duty that when it comes to terms of uh listening to the player base and trying to you know take player feedback into account but i really hope we don't see like support for this mode completely dying and what we got right now is basically where the mode's gonna stay at i hope at the very least when they start adding in more maps to warzone that we can at least get zombies moved over to there and it's not like a, a huge change but like a change of scenery could be nice because doing the same thing on the map over and over again for the next few months is going to get you know pretty stale especially once i get all these camos done for both the mw3 and mw2 weapons but i really hope they don't throw away this kind of mode i don't want this to take over like what zombies is i know a lot of people had that fear when uh, they saw there was no round base for this game but I think this is a good alternative and they can do something like this, like coinciding with Outbreak to be like the, the sister mode or the, the companion mode to zombies. Because I, I do really like this mode a lot. And I definitely enjoy playing this type of open world zombies mode over Outbreak at the moment. But to contradict what I've just said about the, the lack of support for the mode, one of the developers did tweet out that can't wait to see what we've been cooking for season two in modern warfare zombies so it is entirely possible that we have a lot more content on its way and they've kind of like backlogged it and it's just all sitting there ready to go and it's just that treyarch has finished with their portion of it and they're moving on to the next thing but this is all speculation i have uh no clue i'm just going off of things that i saw on twitter oh and there's our 10 kills without reloading 10 times that has been fixed on the mini back as well as the the tackle volver but i just want to throw out what i've been seeing going around in regards to this mode and my thoughts on it and i i just really hope that this isn't the, the end of content for this mode because i know a lot of people were very hesitant when it was first announced and it first came out but i feel like a lot of people came around and they actually do enjoy the mode quite a bit it's definitely a different take on zombies, but it, it, it feels fun. 
and I hope that they find a way to keep it fresh. And speaking of keeping it fresh, I'm gonna go grind at a different contract because this exfil get a bit of boring for me. Let's see if we can get these camos done just by doing contracts normally. I won't even exploit the spawns on this one that much. I'll only do it a little bit. And one more thing before I fully get off the topic of them dropping support for Modern Warfare Zombies completely is that we recently had a boys event last week with uh, a camo that had challenges where you had to complete certain things in multiplayer in Warzone, but they completely omitted zombies. So if you're like only playing this game for zombies or that's your main mode, there is no way for you to complete the challenges for this special event camo. They just completely excluded zombies from it. I'm thinking maybe because like the boys has really nothing to do with zombies or they don't want that like really associated or something because it is a licensed event, but that doesn't really make like a whole lot of sense. I feel like they would have added challenges in there if they, they could have think of some or honestly, I have no idea, but I think they're, they're stretching out this boys collaboration throughout multiple weeks because we have a new challenge or event this week where it's just like getting XP like we did with the magma camo. Fortunately, it's not a million XP. You just have to get like 500,000. So it's, a, it's about half of what our last event XP camo unlock was. I don't know. It all kind of seems fishy to me. And I am exploiting the hell out of these spawns. Let's uh, get the percentage up a bit. Because I want to get enough money to pack a punch these and actually give them a, a nice good old test in tier three. Because this mini back, it doesn't have any magazine attachments. Well, it does have one attachment, but it doesn't increase the size of the magazine. It just increased like recoil control. So it started off with like 64 rounds. And then while you pack a punch it, you get up to 200. So that's not bad at all. And then for our ISO, I think the highest mag is 50. And when you pack a punch, you get to 100. So not the craziest mag sizes over here. I mean, the mini back's pretty decent, but ISO, not so much. There we go. Outlast has been completed. And we got some shit tier rewards for it. Oh, we got a camo during that too. Almost didn't even see it with a reward pop up. Also, we've been using these weapons for a bit, but if you want to copy the builds for them, here's my ISO and here's my mini back. But well, we got to keep it moving if we want to get at least one of these weapons, PAP 3. I'm not even sure what camo challenges I have left for these. I tried to pick two weapons that didn't have too difficult of challenges, kind of passive ones that you just got to shoot zombies for. That way I could just sit here and blab and not really focus on what camos I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure I still need to get uh, 20 consecutive kills with the mini back without taking damage. And I still might need critical kills with our ISO. Either that or kill shortly after using a field upgrade. Either way, I need to be popping my Aether Shroud more, so I'm not taking any damage. Whoa, and what happened to my gun? The Pack-A-Bunch texture just went away because I used Aether Shroud. It looks like Slurp Juice now. And I said earlier I wasn't going to exploit the spawns, but I think I, I might have to. I just thought it might be fun to try to grind camos differently, but there's no better way. Oh, never mind. We still accidentally ended up completing it. I'm just that good. Oh, and look at our reward. All of our hard work for an uncommon Aether tool. Is there any more grindable contracts nearby? This sucks. We're gonna have to go do an Outlast in tier one. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna take out a Stronghold. It's probably not the way to get kills without taking damage, so let me try to get crits here. And while I'm over here doming zombies, I've been playing a shit ton of PAL World. Yesterday, since I was doing nothing but sniffling, like there's no way I was getting a, a video out without it sounding like shit. I basically played Pal World the entire day and I loved every moment of it. At first, I wasn't sure how I felt about Pal World. Like I'm a big Pokemon fan and I'm not saying this to be like, oh, like this is a, a Pokemon clone and I won't support it. I, Daddy Nintendo, please dick me down. But like I enjoy Pokemon. Pokemon's probably my favorite franchise ever. And I saw the trailers and stuff for Pal World. I'm like, oh, that that looks fun or whatever that, like that looks like a funny gimmick i don't know if i'd enjoy it too much and then i watched like a stream on it and i was like yeah this could be all right so I, I i snagged it off game pass and i started playing and i'm like oh, i'm not really sure how much i like this and then i got into the flow of the game and i'm like oh i get it i'm in and i got sucked in for literally the entire day i spent like maybe 12 hours playing it yesterday and i would not take it back for the world the game is sweet where's this last cyst at this is pissing me off. Oh, there's two in here. There we go. Stronghold's a pretty good way to grind now too, I guess. Not a good way to get loot though, that's for sure. This shit sucks. It's all just like essence and then an armor plate. Oh, we got untouchable. Let's go. 250 kills in a row without taking damage. There's no way we don't have our 20 kills consecutively without taking damage camo now. Actually, with the way camos track in this game, there definitely is a way. Maybe we've had all of our camos done for these guns this whole time. I've just been doing all this extra shit for nothing. And here comes the Aether Storm. I feel like we gotta have all of our camos now. So I'm gonna just end this contract. Oh, there it is. 200 crits. See? 
I just have to start bitching about it and everything starts working. So I think that's everything for this gun. Hopefully, knock on wood. I'm gonna end this contract and get out of here and we'll just hope. We'll hope that we got gold on both of these. There we go. All right, game, come on. Don't hold out on me. We got 1,400 zombie kills. There's no way we didn't get it, right? I don't see gold in any of these. There's one extra camo. Is that it? Are you serious? Hold on. Am I stupid? Our mini back? We somehow didn't get our 20 consecutive kills without taking damage 10 times, even though we got the calling card for it. What about our ISO? Somehow didn't get our field upgrade kills. All right, well, that's fine. We can head back in. That calling card had me so convinced. Oh, well. Let's just knock these out. There we go. There's our field upgrade camo. These kills without taking damage can't be tracking correctly. So I've just been sitting here mowing zombies down, not getting touched. And I still didn't see him pop up. I feel like I need to take damage in between each 20 kill segment. There it is, finally. Could have had that done so much faster last game if I wasn't fucking around for so long. And since we couldn't do it last game, let's do a quick tier three test of these guns with uh, sh some shitty Aether tools. I got rare on both of them. We're gonna speed run it. So against tier three zombies unarmored. ISO's looking pretty all right. Not the greatest, but not the worst either. Definitely has a high rate of fire, but with the small mag on it, can't do as much as you'd think it would. And here's a fully armored zombie for us. Ooh. Immediately getting beat to death. Probably would not be my pick for bringing it into tier three. Not gonna lie, this thing kind of sucks. The mangler is just eating these bullets. But we got our favorite pal right here, a mega bomb. What can we do against him? Oh, and he shoot his laser right away. He's gonna knock us, isn't he? Yup. Shit, dude. How many self revives do I have? I got one left. We can do this. Might need to stop using the ISO, though. Yeah, okay. Ran out of ammo. It made the decision for us. What about our mini back? Seems to be doing all right against these zombies. Not terrible. And it's a slower rate of fire with the higher mag. Makes it kind of seem like it shoots forever. Definitely get more mileage out of your, your ammo here. And if this mimic wasn't here, we could test it against the Mega Abomination's laser. But unfortunately, this jackass is here. There we go. And I do have Napalm Burst on it, so it's going to do a, a little bit more damage to the Mega Bomb, but we broke one of his faces. That's one down, two to go. He's not a happy camper. We need to go. We need to run. Here comes another laser. What are we doing against it? Not enough. Holy shit. This is risky. And we do not have enough money to buy another self revive. So we need to thin this herd out a little bit. I think we can still take him. I think we still got it. We just need some of these zombies to drop some armor and we'll be all right. Because we got the Mega Bomb down to half health and we're getting pretty low in the ammo department. But to be fair, most of these bullets have been going into the horde of zombies. Oh shit, we gotta go. Broke another face. Oh no, very low health. And here comes another laser. We need to avoid this at all costs. Perfect. There's too much shit in the way. Almost there. Come on. And we do not need two disciples giving me the super suck right now. That is the opposite of what we need. A top of sprinter showing up out of nowhere. I am struggle busting my way through this. No! Oh shit! We gotta go! We gotta go now! Oh, that mimic almost just ended it all. I still don't know how there hasn't been a single drop of armor on the ground for me. This is torture. Oh, here we go. One plate. Better than none. Could be the difference between life and death. Oh, come on. He's so low. He's shooting the laser too. We might just have to tank it. Let's go. Got him. Finally. See if we can take out the rest of these goobers. Actually, you know what? Decoy. What do we get from this? Nothing but PhD, really. Yeah, not gonna lie. These aren't the, the best SMGs in the world. Probably some better SMGs out there. At least the mini back can get some work. The ISO is, uh, is a zombie tickler. Can we at least get something good to leave with? Nope. Why would I expect anything? All right, let's make like a tree and get out of here. If that's not enough for gold, I don't know what is. There's one gold and there's the other. Thank God. Well, this is what our mini back looks like with gold and ivory on it. A uh, pretty decent weapon. It's all right, but there's definitely better SMGs out there. And this is what our ISO nine millimeter looks like with gold and ivory on it. Kind of a uh, hot ass if I do say so myself. I can't lie. This is a pretty cool blueprint for it though. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this isn't like the usual kind of video, but I just wanted to get some progress done and blab about some shit. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Later.